Okay, so now we've converted all of our JavaScript files to TypeScript files. We've also moved all of our packages, all of our dependent modules from Bower to NPM. And we've added some build tooling using Webpack. And we've got to the point now where we've got Webpack running. It's trying to compile the TypeScript to JavaScript and it's fine and it's giving us a bunch of errors. So in this lecture, we're gonna go through, I'm gonna show you just how to go through and go through the process of fixing those errors. Now the errors you might have will probably be different to the, some of the errors that I'm gonna have, but some of the errors I'm gonna have are gonna be exactly the same errors that you'll have. You'll just need to go through the process, checking the build logs and just trying to resolve issues and fix them. If you're stuck on something, take this string like this, and just Google search it. And then you'll probably come up with some answers that will help you out. But let's have a look at ours. So when we're building ours, this is the first error that we're gonna get. It's one we're gonna see very, very often throughout our application, and it's called cannot find name Angular. And if you in fact go to the file here, so the file is contact service. Um, so that is in the services, contact service. And I just get some room here at the top. You can see that actually even code is giving us as the issue. And basically it's saying, code is saying, cannot find name Angular. So it can't find Angular at the top there. And that's because with TypeScript, it kind of needs to know. It's trying to figure out, well, you know, I need to call this function module on this thing called Angular. I don't know what Angular is, so therefore it's a, it's a problem. Until I know what Angular is, I won't know whether it has a, a function called module or a function called factory or, or anything like that. So, how we solve this is because Angular is just an external product, what we can do to solve this is actually just import it. So what we do is at the top of our file here, we're just going to type import star as Angular from Angular. Ignore the calculating there, that's actually a plugin that I've got installed, which is calculating the size of what you're going to uh, install. But anyway, so this is basically now we're using TypeScript. So this is how we import stuff in TypeScript. Again, review my section on modules on the site codecraft.t on the, on the Angular 5, on the Angular course, if you wanna get an, an understanding of what modules is in TypeScript. But what we're doing here is we're basically loading the Angular package from the node modules, which is the original Angular package, the thing we originally just added as a script tag. We're importing all of it, and we're making all of that available on as a variable called Angular. And that's why now this Angular is basically this import, and now TypeScript is gonna be happy with that. So now what we're gonna do is everywhere where we import, where we use Angular, at the top of the file, I'm just gonna add import star as Angular from Angular. Okay, so now I've gone through and I've added those import statements to the top of every place where I'm using Angular. So hopefully, now when I run that build command again, those errors are going to go away. So let's run the build command again. Oh, here we go. So I'm gonna run npm run build. Yeah, it's still erroring out, but you might be able to tell I've got far fewer errors now than I had before. So let's now look at the next error in our list here. So the next error I've got is on the contact service. It's saying property is deleting, does not exist on type, and it's got some sort of definition of the type there. So let's go into our contact service to take a look. Now it's saying the error is on line 78. So let's go down to line 78. And yep, so we can see here, it's giving us a little error. So it's saying self dot is deleting. So it's saying does not exist on the type. Now what is, what I believe has, is going on here is self here is our object var self at the top. And if you see here, we've got, very, it's got various properties, but it doesn't have an is deleting property. So with TypeScript now, it's a lot more strict about stuff like this. Now we're trying to use a property called is deleting, but we haven't actually specified it already. And that's one of the advantages of TypeScript because it warns you of errors like this, which could cause problems at some point in the future. And so it's telling us to use is deleting at some point in the future. We need to define it previously. So let's just add it here, so is deleting. Let's set it to false to begin with. And again, let's run npm run build again and oh, far a few errors now in fact it look, looks like just one more error here which is the same one contact service line 80 let's go down to line 80 and then yep so again 
Another problem, now if you're used to JavaScript, you'll know this is a common problem if you're not using strict mode, and we weren't using strict mode, which is that I'm trying to use the variable name, but I haven't actually declared it first using the var keyword, and that can actually cause quite a lot of problems. If you want to know what problems they cause, watch my advanced JavaScript course. But to solve it, we just have to make sure we declare every variable before we use it. So I need to add var name there first. Now again, let's do run run build, and hopefully, Fingers crossed. Yep, this now looks like it's working there. You can see the output at the bottom and no errors. So if you remember, the output of our application goes into, there it is, our dist folder and bundle.js. So here's our actual complete bundled uh, JavaScript file that contains all of my code, all of the app application code, but also all of the dependent libraries as well. So Angular and Bootstrap, everything is in this one JavaScript file. So to now to use this JavaScript file, we need to go back into our index.html and everywhere where we, let me get some space down here. Now we can actually now drop all of the script tags because we now only need to include one, which is in fact our dist, and it's called bundle.js. So it's dist, where is it? Here, dist, bundle.js. That's all we need to add now to our angular application in order to get it to run now again let's run everything up so i want to run our server so if you remember it's npm run server this runs our api server and let's open up another shell and npm start here there we go so localhost 5000 so now we just need to go to localhost 5000 to load up our application and you can see here it's running in localhost 5000. Let's load up again. And yep, everything looks like it's running again. So just to double check, we're loading all the right stuff. And you can see at the bottom here, this is loading on new application, which is all bundled into JavaScript. And it's just working just the same as before. Um, we've got infinite scrolling at the bottom as well. Okay, so now we've done it. We've basically in step two, what we've done is we've converted all of our JavaScript files to using TypeScript. So a big step forward, um, both in moving towards modern Angular and also in just having, just being able to move towards a more modern way of writing Angular JS. Using TypeScript is a great, great step forward in your development. So now moving forward to TypeScript, we've then added all the configuration files, so TypeScript config and the Webpack config. And we're now also using Webpack because now we're bundling all of the stuff together using Webpack and bundling it all together to bundle.js, and that also includes all of our dependent uh, third-party libraries, as well as our application code as well. It's all getting bundled into bundle.js, and we've now just started using that in our application. So a big step, a big step we've done in this step, in step two, but a really important step, and I think a step that makes even just developing on AngularJS much, much more pleasant.